because you need a vacation from your staycation. Um, okay, are we ready to start? Yep. Okay, um, so, uh, welcome back everybody to game two of Calmest Might Live Streaming War Machine. Uh, game two is going to be me playing my Retribution with Virus 2 and a bunch of jacks against Kasim and his scorn and some stupid bullshit. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, Kasim won the starting roll, he chose to go first. I took the side of the table with a better defensive tech. Um, or at least some defensive tech, whatever, I don't know, it'll maybe be good, who knows. Um, so yeah, that's that's uh, that's the setup. So Castle, whenever you're ready, go ahead and start that clock and uh, start deploying. Let us know what's in your list and tell us what your stupid jank is. Oh, I forgot something. Uh oh, two more voice spirits. <laughs> no. Oh, the Kovacs, <laughs> of course. <laughs> All right. Probably help find my casker too. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. I saw I saw a car sitting there, and I just I thought it was Zol for some reason. But uh, you're not. It's definitely not Zol. Did I pull him out? I don't see him. Where are you, Zol? I know I packed you. Other. Oh, All right. Now I can start. Okay. <laughs> so I have Zol, who's out of my bag now. <laughs> Always good. Good place got, to start. Got some fair axe. Oh, I need Silas. Fair axe. Fair axe. Good. You, Silas, silly willy. I got two archidons and a gladiator. And I got full unit of Karax with UA. Three ancestral guardians with Hakar. And a wellbreaker. Stupid bullshit. Isn't that Rex motto? That's why next city you had stupid bullshit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> stupid bullshit. Silas, where are you? Is he in with your marks? Yeah, I think so. That's where I'm checking anyway. Oh. Let's see. Here he is. This is one of the issues you have when you have too many models. I definitely have too many models. That's why I'm just keeping it to one. Yeah. One main faction, then I got one sub faction with minions. Mm -hmm. And so I can learn the boards more. Plus, gators are pretty fun. Gators are cool. Yeah, you got some good stuff. I'll just stick with the two captures, <coughs> Barnabas and uh, Caliban. Do you have AD? No. Me neither. Either of you guys playing theme? I am. Yes. Yeah, I'm playing in Forges of War, so I'm really just getting uh, free. I mean, shield guard, shield guard for all my stuff, which definitely helps this list just not care about guns. Uh, not going to be too relevant in this matchup. You have one gun, two guns. Uh, Zol has a gun. Zol has a gun, and the does Wilberger have a dot? Uh, influence. Okay, uh, that doesn't work on Jax. <laughs> <laughs> I can influence them. Um, isn't it a warrior? Uh, oh, Zal has a spell that makes Jax warrior models. No, he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> he shouldn't die. <laughs> um, uh, I don't even know where to put this guy. <laughs> go here. Right. Okay. Now, I have to deploy? Oh, no. What have I done? Um, That's your first mistake. Deploy. <laughs> the art of war. No plan survives contact with the douchebag. I'm gonna deny you all your souls. All those souls I have. Yeah. All your soul collection mechan all what, mechanisms. Uh, I have a couple souls, yeah. They're here and there. With all the models that can collect them, you know. Okay, that's everything. I think that's good. So, without further ado, go score in turn one. Good luck. Good luck. All right. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Okay. 
Rattle, rattle, rattle. <laughs> Matthew McConaughey. Matthew, Matthew McConaughey intro. Uh, a car will run. This guy will run. This guy will run. Andrew just said, LOL, somebody doesn't like Rhett or I see he has been touched in bad places by them. <laughs> Rhett is a problem for some factions right now. We were just talking about Protectorate with uh, someone in the YouTube chat, uh, Relos, and uh, he was having a hard time coming up with any list that he could play in a pairing that would be good to get into Rhett. I'm not really. I'm not sure what the answer to that is actually. Yeah. Ferox can but run. Protect it well enough. Yeah, you do have a lot of spell denial though, which is. Yeah. So I mean. But your your so Ron doesn't, are don't, more. Ron doesn't want to play into them, but. Yeah. yeah. Or door shade forward. Well, but I still use Rit with a lot of good options. Yeah, it does. Resolve can go put in viable resolve on these guys. He'll use soul converter. Yeah. And another player said that he plays protector and mm. have a tough time with red. Mm. And he'll put awakened spirit on the gladiator. What's that one do again? Uh, I can cast his animus without being forced. Okay. And then, I believe he's speed six. Yep. So he was going to walk up to here. Archidons, Archidons, Archidons. Come on. Can ride all four. Uh, damage buffs in this uh, with, with Zol. Can I, actually, can I see his card? Yes. Just because I uh, well, don't remember. Since you're does. not forcing to cast your animus, yeah. does that mean you can run? No, you no. still can't do it. You, you, it like, the, the, the rule isn't for forcing, it's for casting. Casting. Yeah. So he'll rush himself for free, he'll ride for two. I mean, you can just trample, it's almost as well. Yeah. yeah. So, let's see, I go up to a speed five or six, trample nine. Yeah. It's the same, right? It's just be four base, except you get Pathfinder. Yeah. So, here is a dun. That's one inch further. And there's one. only run eight inches if he's base four. I, and then, so if they're speed five, they can trample eight. So, it's the same. Oh, yeah, speed five. Oh, no, no, speed six, then he can trample nine. Yeah, there's one more. Yeah, plus Pathfinder. Yeah, plus Pathfinder, yeah. which makes a difference. Yeah. Uh, plus four. Yeah, yeah, math is here. hard. Adding two to four. Yeah. Super hard. Some stuff here. Ah, that changes my whole deployment. Deal with it. Deal with it. Just making sure everybody's in his control area. Because that would be stupid. You're stupid. Retcon, deal with it. Mm. When we're at a, fi a finals table, then you can hold me to that. <laughs> <laughs> Judge! <laughs> Uh, he can run up to here. That's me. Okay. Time for some shit! Um, so Forges of War means that I get to start with upkeeps in play, which is going to be Synergy. That's it. <laughs> um, I actually kind of need my yeah, phone. Your phone. Your dad's phone. Yeah, I haven't faced Red a whole lot, but yeah, they're they're good. I don't think they're over the top good, but they're, they're perfectly fine. Yeah. Red's in a good place. Um, 
Okay, spell list. Because why would I memorize my spell list before the game? Yeah, just one upkeep. <clears throat> so, Veros. Uh, do you have any speed buffs for your calf? Mm -mm. Speed buffs for this guy, just rush. rush. And they're speed 7 base. Yep. So they can get to speed 9, charge 12, and 1 inch melee. Yep. So, uh, so 13 threat total. Or speed 7, 2 for rush, 13, 13 inch threat, yeah. Yeah, 13 total. Okay, cool. Um. <laughs> Varos is going to allocate one here. And Danny Rue says you're helping him a lot with his first sports faction. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, I, I like taking people under my wing mm -hmm. and, you know, showing people how to play scoring properly. Mm -hmm. Garg's fourth says you are a good one to learn from. Apparently you know what you're doing. I do. How do you think those... Well, you beat uh, me, so... How do you think the three scoring, scoring guys won the ETC? They're my disciples. Uh, huh. No. <laughs> <laughs> I told them, use the winds of death. Yeah. I, I whispered it in their dreams. Mm. Well, nobody saw it coming, that's why. Uh, they... They start like having seizures while they're sleeping, like what's the death, what's the discard. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I allocated a bunch. Synergy is up for free. Um A bunch. Virus only has six focus. Yeah. Yeah, knowing your the rules on your cards always helps. Uh, this Arcanist is going to walk and up. If you keep playing the same list and you know your cards and three and here, you save a lot of time on this, this guy. Yeah. A lot of time. Right? This guy's gonna fleet and run. So fleet makes him. Let's just check if it's movement or speed. Cause I don't remember. It's plus two speed. No, plus two movement. Movement, yeah. So that makes him. He can run fourteen. So four to here. Four to here is eight. He's got six more. He's gonna run up into. So what objectives did you guys take? Oh, I'll take the healing one. I don't care. Healing. <laughs> uh, finder, fire for your first weapon or healing. Can it give Pathfinder to warrior models? The Pathfinder to a model. It's one model. One, one model within four inches. Pathfinder. This guy's going to run. Pathfinder. Why not? Okay. <clears throat> this guy's going to fleet and run. Six to here. Nick, what's, what's it going to feel like to get wrecked? Oh, it's going to be really bad. Uh, <laughs> six to here. <laughs> so, denying you charges from Archie that's all. Um, still walk up and punch me. Uh... Helios, but not yet. Um, Arcanus is going to walk up to here within three and power boost. Helios. Let's see, where do I want Helios to go? He wants to be like here, I'm thinking. <clears throat> so Helios is going to pop his Plus one defense or plus two defense thing and his uh, repel re repulsion thing, and then run. So five to here, five more to here. So if you miss him, you get pushed away. D three. If you hit him, you get pushed away. Uh, one. D three or just one inches. Uh, Pulcherized is D three. Oh, so if I miss him, it's D three. Yeah, and if you hit him, it's one. One inch. Okay. Um, and he's defense 12 against everything, 14 against shooting, yada yada. My colossal's defense 7. 
<laughs> well, my colossal's better than your colossal. <laughs> I don't know. Arguably. I argue. Um, Helios is quite good. I like him. Uh, this griffin here is going to fleet and run. I just really love it when I get my colossal in base to base with things. Or in melee range, anyways. Um, Imperatus is going to run to here. Yeah, Rhett doesn't care as much about terrain as uh, some this other factions. Arcus like is going to walk up. Would have Harvest this Griffin. This Griffin is going to fleet and run. Viros is going to walk forward. He's going to cast Deceleration. Camp 1. Don't know if it'll matter. Silas is going to run. Um, uh, this guy here is going to... Any blast damage? Do you, like, uh, do you have uh, spells that are blast damage at all? Like a nuke? Uh, hex blast. Hex blast, okay. Uh, no arc nodes, though? Yeah. And his range, like... 10? Hex Blast is range yeah, 10. Sorry. Yeah. Um, so this guy's just going to run into the trench. And this guy's going to run to here and he's going to say Force Wall. Um, well, not run, he's going to walk there and say Force Wall. And that's me. That's you. Hmm. The question is can I wreck Helio? I guess that's a question. <laughs> hmm. If you do, I feel like it's probably game. <laughs> um, I, I'm banking on the fact that you can't. Um, and I guess what remains to be seen is whether or not that's a fact. So, please try. <laughs> I mean, if you go all in on Helios and fail, then, then the game's probably going to be pretty rough for you as well. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. So... That's, that's kind of the like. That's kind of the question that the, yeah. the Helios version of the virus list ask is like, if you go for Helios and you can't do it, then the rest of my list is going to kill you. Yeah. If you don't go for Helios, though, he's going to still kill stuff because yeah. he's good. He is good. Uh, so I'm breathing everything, upkeeping, awakened spirit, and inviolable resolve. Now, does Helios always rely on his pushes and pulls, or? Uh, you mean his gun? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. That's his main thing. Uh, so if 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 you if Kassim has anti-pushing tech, yeah. then that's a very yeah, good Yeah, so he'd have a bad day against Men of War Shock Troopers. Very bad day against them. Uh, I have played a list uh, with double Helios into a double Shock Trooper with the UA yeah. uh, list before. Um, what I ended up doing was just going into melee with the Shock Troopers, yeah. and then the Jacks behind them, I push all them away. Yeah. And so then, like, <laughs> it's pretty yeah. funny, actually. Uh, I'd go in, kill a couple of Shock Troopers. Shock Troopers aren't going to kill Helios, though. The Jacks yeah. will, though. So yeah. instead, I just get in with the Shock Troopers. He has dual shots, so he can shoot yeah. in a melee. Yeah. And so I just I just shoot the Juggernauts that are behind yeah. the Shock Troopers, yeah. like, back to the yeah. deployment zone. Yeah. <laughs> so it still works really well. And, yeah. and, it, and it was still key to, to, to any chance I had in winning that game, was yeah. the pushes. The control yeah. was huge against the Speed 4 Jacks. I mean, when I, I, when I can push them almost their speed three times yeah. <laughs> in, a, in an activation, yeah. like I, I can push them... Not nine inches in, 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 a, in a turn. That's more than double. That's more than what they can run back. Yeah. So it can be pretty ball busting for Kator. Yeah. Rough terrain helps with it a lot because it halves the speed I can push. Yeah. Or if, it, if it's a strike off list and he says. Uh, anybody that prevents pushes, yeah. 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 Well, a strike off doesn't prevent pushes, but his feet gets you that speed. Sure, back. it gets the. Yeah, it does that. Yeah. But then strike off. These handlers will go in threat range. Are you doing it? I'm going for it. Last standing, oh. both Archidons into the, into the Helios? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't, you can't put last stand up toys, though. Uh, uh, no, not unless it's already up. Yeah. yeah. Cycle it. You can cycle it, but yeah. uh, it, in, in, it had to have been up already. You didn't put it up, right? No. Enrage. Enrage. No. <laughs> yeah, when I play Old Witch, it, I, it's hard for me to always remember that her uh, field marshal is Apparition. You always gotta remember those. Such a good field marshal, yeah. too. Apparition is such a strong ability. Oh, it's just the one guy said he needs to bring a card that says Choir First, dumbass. <laughs> yeah, you, you get some just, of those. You just, uh, before a tournament, you write that on your hand. Yeah. 
Uh, that's the same thing for retribution. You have to write Arcanist dumbass on yeah. your hand, um, just so you don't forget them. For Scorn, it's Beast Handler's dumbass. <laughs> mm, okay. I think my plan hinges on this thing, so let's do this thing first. Okay. Hinge. Hinge away. So he is going to charge a griffin. Okay. Sure. Bloodbreaker's command. Eight, I believe. Eight millimeters. Nine inches. <laughs> so he's going to, he's going to charge a griffin. Like so. And. So you're using him to force, right? Yeah. yeah. You're good. And Beast Handler was there, so he would charge for free. What are you, defense 12? Yep. So six to hit. Got six it. hits. Just. How 17. Face off one. Damn, 12 to the one. Fuck. <laughs> Was that the shield? <laughs> um, I don't remember. Uh, yes, it is the shield, so it's 16 now. Uh, so buys an attack. Yep. Five misses. Yeah, it does. Five an attack. Yep. Five misses. Damn it. What hinged on this? Was that something that's really important? I was trying to clear a charge line for these guys. Uh, um, I mean, they still, yeah, they still walk and jump. Bye. One attack. The misses, wow. wow. So <laughs> apparently the dice gods did uh, return the favor after that charge attack damage roll. Um, <laughs> well, that was way below average, you know? Uh, yeah, yeah. Needing sixes, you should hit. I, I rolled foremost. 13 on three dice, so uh, <laughs> that wasn't like super above average. Hmm. No, it wasn't actually. <laughs> it just hurt. Yeah. I, I forget sometimes how squishy griffins are. You know, they, they have the shield and have the force field, um, but it just doesn't hold up that long. Yeah. Um, they really do go down really quickly. How many points are they? Uh, point like a uh, point cost. Yeah. Uh, eight. Yeah. yeah. So they shouldn't be overly durable. Yeah, they're not super tanky. That's why the Mad Dogs yeah, don't work, because they were quite durable for oh, some Oh yeah, I mean, like, they, 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 I mean, they still are. Yeah. They, they yeah. still are Armor 18 or yeah, 19? Armor 18. But like with like 34 boxes, 32 boxes. Yeah. It's a lot of boxes yeah. anyway. Yeah. Like Griffins of 22. Yeah. That's like, that's nothing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, these no. guys yeah, are going to press forward. Points. Points. I didn't have any. I'm like, yeah. what are they thinking? Seven points for that? Yeah. yeah. He'll charge that Griffin. <clears throat> Just too bad Karcho got stuck, got uh, booted too. Let's be, uh, yeah, that, that is too bad. Because um, it was nice to actually play Karcho and not see him just pull guys around. And that's all he'd do. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, Mark Three Karcho is still more interesting than Mark Two Karcho yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. But uh, not as much as not, not as good as he was at the beginning of Mark Three. Because yeah. those boosts hit were yeah. pretty relevant. Yeah. That's I mean it. You can still play him. He's fine. Yeah, you yeah, just take Matt Seven Jackson yeah. instead. Yeah. Uh, um, Matt, Matt Seven turns out way better than Matt Five. Yeah. <laughs> he's uh, my card chef is almost fully painted now, so he will be on the stream at some point. Cool. Awesome. Can't wait. Uh, you gonna bring like a Juggernaut and Marauder Spam or something? Yeah, probably some sort of Jaws of the Wolf like nice. theme. Yeah. That's Harkovich. I like Harkovich in Winter Guard. Like I said, like my list. Was Winter Guard theme, but not enough Winter Guard to get any free models. So it's just for the Cyclone to keep Arkovich alive and the free uh, advanced moves. Um, the UA is going to pop Iron or um, Iron Zeal. Okay. So, question for you, Nick. Yes. If you had to play Protector in the Ret, what would you do? Just as a general idea. I don't, I don't know. know which cast a Ret would bring. Just we we, we, we talked about this a bit, and I, I kind of was stumped a bit. I, I don't really know who you should play into Red. I mean, I, I guess Sevi 2 could uh, could be pretty good, just because you can play some Jackspin with him that uh, is ball-busting in that uh, you get to ignore those first attacks on, on everybody, so you're going to be ignoring the charge attacks kind of thing from the Retribution Alpha Strike. I think... Um, uh, two man's heat. It seems pretty good, because uh, then even, even Ossian, can't, Ossian Strike Force can't really deal with it. Um, uh, defense. Not 16. six. Uh, seven with the CMA. Okay. 
Matt 5 base. So they go to a power 12, so there's our 6. It's 9 <laughs> points to 3. Nine there you points. go. Okay. Uh, That's this one here? Yep. Yeah. So this guy on him. Okay. Matt 5. Misses. Yep. The fives will need 7s. CMAs will need 5s. 2 man onto this one. Okay. Hits. Got it. Okay. So they go to power 12? Yep. Yeah. Is seven, seven to the five. Damn. Okay. Uh, Halbert is it? Um, oh wait, that was this one or this yeah. one? Uh, Damn it! This one. Hold on. I have to undo that. Um, it was seven. Yeah, to the three. Okay. Um, this is Griffin two. This is where running all the jacks gets hard. So sorry, that was seven to the three. Uh, yes. Okay. Okay. So no, nothing's up. Uh, it was straight. Yeah, yeah it's, it's it, I I I'm bad at that as well. Yeah. Uh, it's so much easier with cards when yeah. running a lot of jacks like that. Yeah. Um, keeping track of war room. And it does work if you mark the numbers on your yeah. bases, so like it's unambiguous kind of thing. But sometimes there'll just be a card up on my screen. And I'll just start marking damage. Yep. Because I'm an idiot. I that's all I well, can. Well, and also you, you, you <laughs> need to hit the one. The yeah, other. yeah, that happens too. And so yeah, but but it really and sucks. Trying to do it quick. It, it so really does mess up the game yeah. though when you make that mistake. Like yeah. it, it's it is. I, I feel awful when that happens. Yeah. Because it really fucks things up. Yeah. This Archidon is going to charge Helios. 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 Okay. That's six. Six to hit. Six to hits with the six. Hit. Pile 17, they saw 3, or is he 19, they saw 2. Is. Damn, 9, nine to the 5. Okay. Then he will. Oh, you push back an inch. So you're still in. Yeah, but I'm going to buy an attack on the Griffin anyway. Okay. 7 oh, hits. They saw 1. That's one. Griffin 3. Uh, 4. 4 to the what? Shield. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> attack. On the same Yeah. Okay, about it. Line hits. Space off one. It is six to the six. Bone attack on that. The Griffon. Hits. Yep. Space off. Shield still up? Uh, yes. Um, dice off one is eight to the six. Oof. The shield is now out. And the movement. Cool. Like, like Hammond says, Kassam is doomed. <laughs> uh, Munz is king of the calling it way too early. Uh, <laughs> and then Matt Worsh says, go Kassam, go. <laughs> That's appropriate. You're allowed to cheer. But calling it for me this early is definitely way too early <laughs> to say. <laughs> Jinxing it. Yeah. He's going to put tough on these guys. Okay. <clears throat> And that's him. So I have these guys, Gladiator, those guys. That one's really in your face tonight. Uh, it's true. <laughs> in my face in the first game. It's just one of those in your face kind of nights. Oh, there you go. Uh, he's playing a couple of in your face kind of lists. Yeah. Which is cool. Okay, I'm going to charge. Charging. I can get rid of that Griffin. I don't really care about that Griffin anymore. Hmm. Reach. Put flank around and like make your arcanist cry. They are little crybabies. No question about that. So these guys are gonna walk. Now the jump cat's gonna do some jumping. No, you can't walk through the objective. Oh, I thought it was in Quora. No, no, it, it's no yours, your yours is for you, mine is for uh, me. Not, not the other way. So you do have to walk around it. So if I were to jump to here, I mean walk to here. When he was his handy dandy Canada WTC measurement widgets that we got from Chris Orr. <laughs> <laughs> I hate Chris Orr. <gasps> Don't really talk about Chris Orr that way. I do what I want. It's a free country. Yeah, so we can jump there. Okay. Completely within five. So. Okay, so there. Where you're, what's your basic? Uh, something. <laughs> something like that, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Dun, 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 dun. 
You move it up a bit, because uh, there's yeah. not much going on yeah, in the bottom zone. So, so you can just yeah. twist that a bit to unlock it. And then just pan up just a little bit. Mm -hmm. so mostly, mostly what's going on is in the center, not really the top. Three. Also, I guess get rid of this so you can see a bit more what's going on behind the house. Alright, so that guy already jumped. These ones will jump now. He can jump. Jeremy's off online now. So sure, the night I don't make it out, scoring is less beastly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to play. We'll have to make a point of uh, playing some dudes for him so that Jeremy can have his day with Ashlyn. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and this one can go Chris Twonk. Okay, All right. Back in what? Let's start with this guy's mount attack on him because it's beastly. Be three. Beastly. Mount uh, attack. Mat six. Hits with a 7. Yep. This is a POW 12. Okay, uh, this one is missing his shield. They saw 4. Um, 3 points to the 3. Okay. Then his Alance. Yeah, the Aerox are good. Uh, yeah, they're going in Kessel's first yeah, hit. List, but POW what? 12? 12. They are quite, uh, quite oh, good. 4. <laughs> Fuck okay. me! Uh, so 8 points is enough to kill. Yeah. Double box cars. Ah, uh, I haven't done one of those in a long time. Uh, we'll do... Let's see. So we'll do this guy's mount into his back arc. Okay. And I will use his lance for CMA. Okay. Hits. Uh, so it goes to POW 14. Uh, so uh, you ignore the shield because he's in the back. Yeah. So it's pow armor 16. They have two. Is uh, eleven to the five, and then a lance, the arcanist. I think part of the base across the wall, right? Uh, sorry, I need that number again. Uh, eleven to the five. Eleven to the five. Yeah. Uh, arcanist, getting defense bonus there. This thirteen. He's thirteen. Yeah. Um. So I nine hits of fifteen. Yep. So he'll be defeated. Okay. I will go with this guy. Mount into him using his lance. Okay. A three in your back. Uh, so on defense ten, your mat eight. Yeah, so that hits. hits. Uh, Power fourteen. Uh, so that's Griffin four. So it's going to be dice off of two, which is eight to the five. Okay. So uh, Halberd is out. So both his attacks are gone, yep. he's missing his lance. So I have, I'll go with this one with his mount using his lance. Okay, so this is not back arc, but it doesn't matter. Uh, you just need to hit a four. Hits. So. How 14. Um, is, is his shield intact? No. Okay. Um, off two is... Seven. Uh, that's 11, so off two is nine. Yeah, that's a six. Okay. And then this one is going to do his mount. This is real bad. Yeah. That's the 10. Uh, which one? This, this guy? His mount? Okay. Yeah. And uh, so dice a, off. Dice off uh, six. Six, yeah. So, so two points. Two. Okay. Damn. So now they have repo three. Repo three. <laughs> Done. So Nick, what do you think about Ferox? Uh, oh, Fer Ferox are good. Everyone, yeah. I think everyone should know that yeah. by now. Um, Ferox are pretty broken. Um, definitely contender for top two or three cav in the game. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, you know, Stormlance's Ferox are in the equation. Yeah. 
Uh, not sure who else. De not Desters, I can tell you that. Um, <laughs> <Ooh, okay. laughs> uh, they're okay. He's going to rush himself and walk. They're really good on the charge, and then if you're able to... Problem is that yeah. they're only going the charge. Yeah. After the charge, they, they kind of suck. Yeah. Vendors have the same problem. Mm. Um, These guys Raptors are really good. Raptors are probably yeah. number three. Run. So, uh, ghostly bane riders. Run. Um, yeah, you know what? I haven't had, I haven't seen them on the table since they've been yeah. like buffed. Yeah. Um, but they're probably going to be a contender. But run. Uh, they don't, and they don't have a lot of the same problems that. Uh, I think Tempest Blazers are good too. It's just they they pale in comparison. Yeah, the only problem with Tempest Blazers is that lances are better. Yeah. You know, uh, that's the only problem with Blazers, is that uh, what they did, which was like run up, shoot with electro leaps, and, uh, and that kind of thing with, with their shots, and then scoot back. Lances just did it better, yeah. <laughs> which is one well, of the primary reasons were why hardier. one of the primary reasons why they removed yeah. Um, yeah, uh, the electrically yeah. from the lance yeah. was because that that particular interaction that yeah. made them just everything they did, they did the same things that blazers did but better. Yeah, and so now it's not quite Soul that cut and dry. I think that they're still better enough that they overshadow blazers too much, but yeah. but blazers aren't bad. It's yeah. just that they're better and more and more into. 2017, you might see Blazers more because there's more infantry. Mm -hmm. mm. Whatever, I'll put last stand on this guy. Okay. Last stand, where'd you go, token? I had a token for this. Whatever. Last stand. Uh, I think that's all of my models now. Does all do anything else? No. Hmm. Have you stayed cleverly on the other side of that cloud? On purpose? Yeah. Because viruses Jackson don't clouds. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> anyway, it's a thing. Uh, so synergy for free. Viros gets his six. Uh, and then I get some focus for my stuff. I think did anyone lose a cortex? Nobody's alive. <laughs> so, I kind of need to do some work. Yep. There's a lot of scoring in your face. Yeah, there is. Um, damn. I wonder what the number seven smells like. And Steve, have you ever tasted irony? Psychological games with Nick, <laughs> confusing him. <laughs> um, thoughts. What's all his defensive stats anyway? More than you can handle. Uh, 15, 14. 15, 14. Hmm. Any shield guards? Yep. Fifteen, and he tends to hit him. Oh, I'm in aiming range. That's kind of funny. But uh, you're engaged, so you can't aim. Ah, uh, that's true. By a couple things. <laughs> if I could get him within six or within eight, I only need to actually hit two. But I'd have to get something to kill that archer down first. Um, there it is. Uh, I mean, yeah, that's probably what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Gasson, do you think ferrets are good enough to be on every list? I mean, they could be. But it really yeah. depends on what you're doing with your list. Yeah. I mean, they're toolboxy enough, I think. Yeah. Okay. So um, they're definitely a really good cab unit, that's for sure. Yeah, I mean, being able to get boosted damage rolls anytime, because you yeah. can jump and then... That CMA trick is cool, like yeah. using the lance. So, it's uh. So do they have the lance rule? No. Ah. Uh, that's why they're good, Calf. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
Technically, it's called a spear, cavalry spear. Oh, there you go. And it's two inches. Uh, so yeah. Ferox <laughs> are 14, 17? 13. Thir oh, 13, 17. 13, 17. Okay. That's still pretty good. 13, 17. Okay, I need to figure out my allocations. I am giving two to Helios. I'm giving... Hmm. To, to Imperatus. So that leaves Varos on two, currently. If I don't want to give it any more. I have Arcanists for that. Do you? In theory. <laughs> okay, um, let's see here. I'm thinking to go for an inadvisable assassination run. That's usually what I do in this situation. <laughs> um, I'll maybe give two more. Uh, no, Virus wants to do some more too, though, right? Virus can't do work. He has a disability, missing one eye. You've got to go before you, because you're just barely in control. Well, actually, not just barely, but it's still important, okay? Um, you should, like, cast lock the target. <laughs> <laughs> lock the target. Basically, it's shitty stranglehold. Yeah, that's what that is. Yeah, strike off two has it. Yeah. And it costs, what does it cost? Three? Two. Okay. Two to cast. But yeah, strike off magic ability six, so you're boosting. So it costs three, and then you got to boost damage to actually damage. Yep. Otherwise, it does nothing. So four. Cow ten. Yeah, it, it costs four to cast. Yeah. Just gonna give uh, one here and one Unless here. you're shooting at like a Kador Jack, then six on ten. Then you're shooting a Kador Jack, like armor twenty. Yeah. So you need the early eleven. <laughs> yeah. Damage. On three dice. So okay. Either way, it's so Virus allocated three. all of his shit. Yeah. I keep synergy for free. Um, Great ability. I love it. It's just, it should be pal 12. Strength holds better. Uh, this griffin here is going to go, it's going to just shift over a bit to Takes here. Three strikes? No, it doesn't. Fuck you. <laughs> uh, shield here. Okay. Uh, defense 12. Six to hit. Yeah, hey, dice. I can use those dice. Where did my other dice go? My ret dice. I'm going to use my ret dice. Screw you! Those dice were pretty good so far. My dice? No. Some dice. Awesome. Didn't put those things. I'll just use these. Uh, these those are bad. <laughs> <laughs> Even I couldn't oh. save them when I rolled them. <laughs> yeah, no, they're, 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 those dice are awful. I don't know what's wrong. Like, I mean, I try not to be dice superstitious. Oh, here we go. I try not to be dice superstitious, but damn, man, sometimes the same dice just set just keeps fucking me over, <laughs> and I just don't want it anymore. So, uh, six. Hits him. So synergy is one. Mm -hmm. Armor 19. So this guy is a 9 on your 19, so 11 to kill. Uh, 9 plus 10 is 19, so it dies. Um, Halberd on the same guy. Hits him. This is about 13, so 7 to kill. Uh, nope. Um, buy a shield on that guy. Misses him. Buy a Halberd on that guy. Actually, so wait, damn it! I should have been attacking that guy. That's okay. Uh, do, you want, do you mind if I do that guy instead for the? It missed anyway. It doesn't matter. So buy buy help around. Misses. Fuck's sake! I'm so bad at this game. Whole point of this guy going first was to kill this guy to clear up the fucking zone. Roll there. Well, well no, just no. Don't way. be stupid. Is yeah. the you went out to kill him either way? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Um, it makes you feel better. Yeah, you should change your days, Jeremy. Uh, this guy here is just going to walk up and combo smite this guy. 
So it's a seven, so five hits. Okay. Um, it's a pow, a bunch. Uh, it is a power 17, Thomas Wright. Thomas Wright. Power 17. So you probably force a tough check if you don't roll snake eyes. Um, well, it also knocks him down. Oh, they're steady? Um, does Iron Zeal give you steady? Uh, it does. Yeah, it does. Uh, Cannot uh, become stationary and knock down. Yeah. Okay. Um, collateral damage is equal to the strength. Oh, that's shitty. So anyway, the, the the main guy takes the seventeen. So that'll be tough, Jack. Not tough. The next guy takes the power nine. So no, he's fine. <clears throat> um, Virus is going to walk. No, not yet. This guy first. This guy is going to walk to here, mm -hmm. and he's going to boost a halberd into this guy. So needing a seven, uh, actually needing a six because synergy is a one. Yeah. That'll hit. So synergy is at two. Uh, so power on his uh, halberd is uh, fourteen. They saw three. So six. Dead. course, I didn't put him in shield range or anything else. Well, I'm really playing this very poorly. Um, okay. Uh, Synergy is a two. Virus is going to walk up to here. He's going to swing on that Ferox dude. He's at ten. Uh, power is like 18. Is it? You gotta make sure. Oops. It's probably a tough check, but... Power 14, so he goes to 16. 16, so it's a... Uh, that is a 20. That, that so. is a tough check still. Yeah. Tough. That's a problem. Um, that's a big problem. I wish I wasn't so shitty. Um, but that doesn't help me. Um, all right, this griffin is going to walk up to here, go base to base with the Archidon. And uh, he's going to swing his halberd on this guy here. Mm -hmm. So he's a mat. Uh, nine? Uh, it's three Basically. now, so he's a nine. They're all going to be nines from now on. Um, Three to hit him, hits him. Palbert is a PS 16. So, four to kill. Tough check. Yep. Um, he will, uh, might as well attack the Archon. So, Archon with the shield. So, I'm at uh, uh, nine again on your 14. 14. Five is going to uh, hit, mm -hmm. and this is uh, pow nine is uh, pow twelve after synergy. Uh, he's armor seventeen. Uh, five. Uh, take five. Sixteen. Uh, so I'm six. Nine plus three is twelve. So I'm sixteen. Days uh, four. four. Six to the three. Yep. By halberd. He's got two focus. So by halberd, uh, it will hit, and uh, this is pow uh, sixteen. Nice. Eight to three. And last attack with Halberd. Hits. And dice is six to the five. <clears throat> five boxes left. Okay. Um, Arcanist will walk up and concentrate power uh, in Paradis. Mm -hmm. He's going to walk up into this gap here. Um, I want to get closer in, but I can't do it. Okay, and first initial on the Archidon. Uh, he's a mat 10. Four to hit. Hits. Um, PS 17 up to 19 up to 22. Uh, base plus seven, or six. Plus six. Oh, he's dead. Zong. Braves. Here 
three now. Yep. Um, and then the parrot will just uh, swing on some other stuff. So swing on this guy. So uh, four to hit him. Hit him. Twenty-two. Stop check. Okay. Uh, that was second initial. Buy on this guy. Hit him. Stop check. Um, buy on like buy on again. Uh, that's gonna miss, and then last one hits him. Stop check. Right. Retribution's counter attack. They're taking that one fear off. So this and and uh, Archie Dawn. Uh, neither of you guys have feeded yet, right? No, I, w I probably should. I mean, I definitely should have feeded this turn. Yeah. I just forgot. Um. Just Danny Rue's. Do you want to uh, walked away and uh, Sure, let's say I feed it, just because uh, it, it, this would have been the turn, like 100%. Because uh, like, if I wait a turn, nothing's left. <laughs> um, uh, it's not a huge deal, it's just like, yeah. Okay. Um, so Brett's feeded now. Yeah. And they're on the counter attack. Scoring's still way up in there. This guy's just going to walk up to here. He'll take a free strike. Uh, oh, sorry, that guy's engaging. Never mind. Uh, he'll just walk back here instead. And uh, he'll come smite him. That's uh, 13. Should I do that? 13, armor 7, need the 6s. Two 13s. Two chances at a 13. Armor 17, off 4. Yeah, I'll, I'll do the. No, I'll do the single attacks. 6s. Hits. Power 13 is off 4. Is uh, uh, 7 total. So uh, three, point three. 3 points. Two boxes left. Second attack. Hits you. Um, that's dead. Uh, this guy's going to concentrate power. Helios. Helios. Um, Silas is going to charge! Because yeah, why not? Because <laughs> why not? Just trying to get him in so he's um, not going to take the defense penalty. From the house. Is that going to work? Why don't you tell me? I also need to not block my movement. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, so uh, he's a 5 under 13. He needs uh, an 8. Nope. No. <laughs> Silas close, is super close, sad. Close. Silas is sad. Um, punch your powers up. Uh, so it's just Helios left. <sighs> it's probably not worth going for Zal. No, 5 Fury on him. Yeah. Um, but... Helios, I mean, could potentially kill two heavies if I can snake them. Let's see here. I need a wreck marker. Uh, have, they're all over the place. I have tons of them. So Helios can walk to about here. Uh, meaning I would have to Hit him once, and hit him probably twice, but maybe once. Where'd the base go? Can it sneak through here, I guess, is another question. That looks okay. So hit him once, then he's gonna be in melee. Hit him once, he'll be in melee. Um, defense 14? Mm -hmm. That's an issue. I could use one boost to get him in. Well, let's let's do it. So uh, he's gonna walk to here. Um, Uh, first shot is going to go with the gladiator. So uh, five under five. Oh, that was <laughs> tragic. <laughs> <sighs> that is tragic. Okay, it's just not your day. Yeah, really. Um, yeah, you know, if you would have called the other beast, you would have nailed it. Oh, for sure, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> the 
arch it on. Well, you still have two more shots, right? I do still have two more shots. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll shoot the gladiator. Okay, that gets uh, it. Yeah. So I'll pull it in to the center here. Um, for the Archidon, I'm just thinking how long I have to actually kill them both. Um, PS is uh, 19. No, wait, it's, it's actually really high right now. Oh, it's really so you can decide when to shoot. 21, 23, 26. 26. So, oh, synergy. Yeah, I can probably get them both. So I am going to boost my last shot and use the Archidon. Needing a uh, nine. Got it. So it's going to go here. Yep. Um, initial attack on the Archidon. He's mat nine on your 14. Needing a five. Gets it. 26 is plus 10. Yes. <laughs> uh, 14 to the two. Really sure roll. But still 14 points. Yeah. Okay, initial on the Gladiator. Uh, it hits. Because nice. I'm, oh, yeah, so I'm at 9. Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, so PS20, uh, 26 is off 7? Yes. 19 on 20. No, sorry, plus 7. Plus 7, yeah. That's yeah. better. That's uh, uh, 11 plus 7 is uh, 18 Eight. to the 5. Okay. Yeah, you're doing. Uh, I'll lots. buy on the uh, letter. Not thanks. Plus 7. Um, that's going to be 14. That will do him. And then one on the Arctodon. Uh 5 plus 9 is 14 exactly. Uh, so plus 10. Uh, take 18 to the 3. He did. Oh. Okay. Well, that turned it around a bit. I will breathe. Back up to full. Okay. Um... I think that's everything, right? Yeah, so it's on you. The question is... So, I mean, despite the fact that I just fucked up all kinds of shit on my turn, yeah. that, that definitely did swing pretty hard back in yeah. my favor. Um, however, I mean, he still has Ancestral Guardians, he still has Last Stand, he still has a lot of good stuff. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but can he get to your caster? To yeah. my caster? Hard to say. Probably. Okay. Probably. Okay. Um, he's got Reach, right? Yeah. Take the last stand out of that one. Um, yeah, you probably can't. Well, I can move a Karanax. Oh, you're right. Yeah. yeah, so definitely yes. Yeah. So. Yeah, because you're not camping any? I'm not camping any. I, spent, I, I, I yeah. gave it all out. So, yeah, Viral's probably goes down. Down like a clown. Question is can I wreck Helios in this process? So we have. Zol. Who. I don't think Inviable Resolve is really worth upkeeping anymore. It's a really good spell. What's it on? Is it on? The Karax. Oh, okay. Oh, it was on the Karax. That's why they're so trying to remember. Okay. Huh. Let's go over here for now. They um, made feed it too, didn't they? Yeah, they made it feed it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll upkeep Last Stand and Inviable Resolve. Okay. <clears throat> now, the line of question is, I go with Karax first. So that was a pretty sweet display of what Helios is capable of yeah. uh, with uh, full synergy and all that. Yeah. Um, just like... Wrecking everything off. <laughs> it's just so hard to stay safe, safe from because he can pull yeah. things in from so far away. Yeah. Um, it's kind of a good demonstration of mm -hmm. just how, how ridiculous he yeah. is on his Bagros. Um, and I, I don't even think I rolled very well. Like, it's just that's just what he wow. does. When, when your dice plus yeah. 10, yeah. like, <laughs> it's pretty dumb. Um, yeah, however, I'm still, probably, I'm probably still going to die here anyway, you despite 11, that. So you did an 18 there. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, yeah. Karak's probably still going to die, so that's fun. But. <laughs> <laughs> but that's how Colossals should be. They should be able to wreck face. They yeah, really it's should. true. I mean, they should be centerpiece yeah. models that can get a lot of work yeah. done. Right, like Conquest guns were doing quite well, but... I mean, Conquest and Victor and Melee are just phenomenal. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, they have natural, what, PS22 fists? 23. 
23? Holy exactly. shit, that's really high. Yeah. And that's why Kador doesn't have too many damage buffs <laughs> that can work on Jax. There's a few, the Fury. Which Fury, Redline, yeah. Sorcia 2's feet, yeah. Butcher 1's feet, yeah. you know, hardly anything. <laughs> Nothing sure. like battle no, uh, yeah, yeah, battle lust is the big one that they yeah. that they can't get. Yeah. Yeah. Um, just stabbing some things. Yeah, they're going to stab. Oh, tell me, tell me what you're stabbing. Say, Imperatus. Imperatus, okay. Let's do a. He's armor eighteen. Yeah. Three man takes me to a fifth or up to a thirteen. I'm just going to do one seven man on him. One seven man, okay. So you go up to Mac twelve. That'll hit. <laughs> and then uh, seven. So 17. ten goes up to seventeen. So uh, dice off uh, one. Seven, seven to the one. one. Seven to the shield. Yeah, just shield. All right, now oh, we can go with this guy. Left. Oh, lots left. Bird is yeah, took seven. Got ten shields. Yeah, he hasn't been damaged yet. Yeah. So he. Oh, you know, I forgot about us. Uh, I forgot about flame burst. All those guys should be on fire. They don't care. Um, they would be armor. They would still be no, because Iron Zeal would go away. But they would still be. What's their base armor? Sixteen. Fifteen. Fifteen. So they'd be seventeen with Embalmer resolve up. So yeah. they're probably safe anyway. Yeah. Right, charge. Charging Helios. Yes, this is the last standard one. Okay. So. Good so. Might. Hits. Are you doing left or right? It looks like you're in left. Okay. Or right. Right. Um, charge. Last stand. Yep. So this. Um, pow 13. Uh, so dice off 6. That is 14 to the 2. Okay. Bind attack. That's snakes. Hits. And... This attack. Off 6. Is 2 to the 5. 2 to the 5. That's a bit mopey. And buy an attack. Yep. <laughs> wow, <laughs> triple ones! Oh. Damn, did not see that coming. Yeah. So now, he, they're like what, Matt seven, eight? Matt eight, yeah. Matt eight, yeah. So you you need triple ones to miss. Yeah. <laughs> that was a one in like yeah, it's, it okay. it's right up there. one in a lot. Thirty-six times six. So Matt's now Zal shall go. Okay. And he will pop her feet. Pop her feet. Feet, Papa. I want to get last stand on to Hakar. Nah, you don't need that. You actually probably don't need it. But... Probably not. No. <laughs> <laughs> but triple one's the thing. Hakar's like mat nine or ten. Double ones is a lot easier to roll than triple ones. Yeah, I mean you don't you don't actually need it, mat but nine, yeah. I mean it's probably it's good practice to do it. It's an insurance yeah. policy. Yeah. Because triple ones is harder to roll than double. I'm pretty ones. sure nine times out of ten you get it done without it. Yeah. I'll do a soul converter. No, you Bam. Can't do that. What's the virus's feet again? Uh, if you kill something, then something gets to move. Right. But he did not do me the service of killing something for me. Grip up the mice. So that's what I spent. Just go. Ah, oh, feathers on my sense. So. Yeah, I know it's defense, but I just kind of remember exactly. It's what actually it a really strong feat. Yeah. Um, assuming you, you don't leave your caster in charge range of one model that can kill him alone. Because yeah. if you have to kill anything to get to him, yeah. then you can just scooch to safety kind of thing. Yep. Um, but because I'm bad at this game, that's not going to happen. Last stand will go up on Hakar. If I was to actually, it, it is a deceptively good feat. A yeah. lot of people see it and think, oh, this is garbage, but it no. really isn't. Yeah. Uh, especially the change in Mark III that you can uh, move multiple models. Uh, you can move mo models multiple times now with the yeah. feet. So you can, like, uh, but it's only three inch move every time. It used yeah. to be a full advance, now it's just the three inches. Yeah. Um, but you can do it multiple times. So yeah. you can move the same model around a bunch of times. Yeah. So, like, if, if like if you compare it to the back of your army, they kill something, it moves up. <laughs> <They're> yeah. like, oh. <laughs> they kill nothing, yeah. it moves up again. You're like, oh my god, I'm going to die next turn because he keeps moving Imperatus up at yeah. me or whatever. It could be pretty good. It's kind of like uh, so these guys will go I'm playing Kozlov uh, and having the Miss Hunters with Belichev because then you can yeah. Zephyr three, then Repo three from the uh, that's pretty good supremacy. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah that's actually really strong. All right, what's this guy doing? Uh, he's they're advancing. Okay. So it says two inches. You're trying to stay within Salas's melee. 
Yeah, yeah it's not really got really too much. I mean, Silas is a baller. Mm -hmm. Silas will totally stab you in the face. Yeah. You watch out. <laughs> They're just walking, right? Locked in yeah. And then they will jump. Can this work? Yes, it can. Can what? I'm going to engage virus after. Okay, that's fine. Um, so he will and then you're going to kill an arcanist? So virus can walk? Ah! <laughs> Alright, what's up? What you shooting at? He'll jump closer like this. Oh, now he will. Okay. Like that, you know. Don't want to waste uh, my mouse. Who's talking what? Uh, let's start with that guy. Yeah. Tell On what? Imperatus. Imperatus? Okay. What's his mount? Okay, so uh, 11 in the back. So I need uh, fives. I'll boost. I'll boost this one. From the feet? From the feet. Whoa, <laughs> <laughs> you still missed? Still missed. Holy shit. <laughs> right. Then he'll do his halberd into uh, Helios. Okay. It's yeah. Um, Pow twelve. Uh, so it's armor eighteen is off seven. Boost. Boosting from the feet. Uh, Pow twelve dice off seven. We said you can pick the grid that you want to put it on, left or right. Three, uh, right. Right is more damage. Three, you said. Three to the six. And then the next one will do this pounce. On? Yes. Okay. Hits. I'm just going to assume you're doing the right because it's the more damage side. Yeah. Uh, mount. So. Dice off six. Or, sorry, uh, this is pound 12, right? Yep. Yeah. Dice off seven. seven. Five to the one. Five to the one. And lance. Or a spear, I mean. Hits for eight. Yep. Dice off seven. Beast. Is seven to the one. Last. Need a column for the other side. Three. Okay. The last guy, start with his mount. Hits. Okay. Space off seven. Whew. <laughs> uh, ten to the five. Holy. Holy snakes. Okay. Spear. Hits. Beals. Off seven. How many boxes have left? Uh, Space off seven is three to the four. Three to the four. Okay. This is what he's left. You. So this guy's just gonna shimmy like so to get to zeros. Just to get to zeros. Okay. And I'm just getting the front of his arc. Okay. And this guy can I don't care. Put this down. Okay. So I am I can wreck Helios, that's no question. So I'll just send Hikar into Vyros. You just wanted to know? I just wanted to know. <laughs> <laughs> I just have to know. If, even if you don't get a chance to do it, you just wanted to know. I just wanted to know. Because uh, I know you're going to take that opportunity. To oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> if, you, if you do kill him, then Vyros is gone, and then. The he game, takes a free strike. The game but... continues. <laughs> well, no, you didn't take a free strike. Okay. He just goes around. Oh, he goes to him, yeah. You can't get to him. Or could I? No, probably wreck these guys. Um, maybe, actually. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Anyways, uh, let's just send a car in. Yeah, so just do it. Just yeah. do it. Uh, That's a try. Just kidding. Um, <laughs> <don't> <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so Varos is defense. 15. Boost with the feet. You need fives, right? The last hand. Yeah. Yeah. Last time gives yeah. you an additional yeah. die. It's yeah. additional, so it's, it's additional like. Guy it's, guy it's, it's, just, it's just dice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's the power? Uh, 13. 13, so dice off 5. Let's see if we can one-shot him. No. Um, that's 18? No, not quite. Uh, 18, dice off 5. Is 13? 13. And then, it's like an initial. Hits. And, I did boost. Yep. Uh, dice off 5. Is it 5 or off 3? I forget now. Uh, off 5. Yeah. Um, uh, power 13. So that is uh, 8. That's enough. Yeah. And uh, this griffin will move here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That is game. Assassination. Yeah. I just wasn't careful enough with Viros. Um, yeah, d uh, just... I mean, if, if, he's not, if he's not in a place that he can be killed easily, like, 
I would have taken a free strike from a Karax to move away, which I probably just should have done. I just didn't think it mattered a whole lot. Um, but I didn't see that assassination run either, so that was that's on me. Um, but yeah, if, if, if Virus is in a safer place, um, then it goes down to attrition kind of thing. I mean, you could still get a Karax or two on him if you wanted to try for it, I guess. Um, and I mean, it's not actually that bad of an assassination run. Um, well, I mean, in this case, like, if everything was the same, but he was just there, I mean, I'm probably wrecking him. Oh, uh, you are wrecking Helios, for yeah. sure. Probably wrecking Imperatus. No, you're not. I don't know. Imperatus is harder to kill than Helios. See, Phoenix Protocol. Yeah. Actually, I wonder what Hakkar could do with last on Helios. I mean, um, On Imperatus? Want to try it out? Let's see what happens. Okay. Um, so he charges in. Last stand on Defense Hakkar. Defense 13. Some chasing. Defense 13, so he hits. Yep. Um, charge is boosted. He's armor 18? Yep. Uh, so it's dice off 5. So that's 11 points to the 4. To the 4. Yeah. And his. You know, I said you couldn't kill him, but I forgot that your dice are broken as shit. <laughs> <laughs> It'll hit. Hit. Uh, so I would have spent 1 for the boost. Okay. Um, um, dice off 5. Or dice off seven. Uh, armor eighteen, dice off five. Okay. Top thirteen is ten to the three. So then he would buy an attack. Yep. Hits. Mm -hmm. um, another one of those. The boost. Yep. Uh, dice off five is enough to trigger the protocol. Okay. So then buy an attack on. Hold on. Give me a second to just uh, clear off the shit. And they almost need to add a button. Phoenix Protocol. Hmm. Yeah, it'd be nice. <laughs> uh, that's a 17, or 15. Hits. Uh, yep. And then um, Beast. Uh, that's 5. That's a 5 is 5. Okay. Oh, that's his last attack. Yep. You have to really spike this one. I saw five. Is ten? Ten. He's alive. Two boxes, but he's alive. <laughs> so then this guy goes yeah. into I mean, yeah, you can kill him. But uh, Hakar, like I'm just saying, Hakar yeah. wasn't going to do it. Yeah. On his own, no. no. Um, yeah. But yeah, but, like, I mean, last hand with the feet is a pretty sweet combo. Yeah. Um, no question. It, you can get a lot of work done with a lot of low value models, like, like at Sister Guardians and that kind of thing. Like, just their ability to buy additional attacks um, that are reasonably high power and then being able to double boost with last hand and the feet. Yeah. Um, it's really, really powerful. Um, why is no one playing Zol? I think because they see him as a infantry. Infantry caster. And a, and not, but I mean, that's the thing though, is that Zol uses infantry to destroy battle groups though. Like, yeah. I, I don't know. Well, I, I plus, just, I mean, they, they feel your feet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know, it seems weird. I mean, like... Now, your War Beast... Could your War Beast use the boost as well? I believe it's anybody. I know Mark II you could. I'm pretty sure it's anybody. I don't know. Lonzo's control any friendly faction models can spend his storage tokens, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, last time on a car is code for here comes the caster kill. <laughs> pretty much, yeah. Uh, well, I mean, or just whatever I want to kill. Mm -hmm. Like, any, whatever important model I need dead kill. Yeah. Um... I'm not sure, actually, is losing Hakkar to take out a Paris even worth it? Uh, like, wouldn't it be better to just send him in with the feet and just double boost everything and let him just stand there being a badass? Well, like, rather than have him die? Like well, like, seven yeah, points last hand for... If you make melee attacks with the last hand, yeah, then you die right? at the end of the turn. Yeah. Seven points for, what is he, a 20 He's, point jack? Uh, 21, I think. 21 points, yeah. So, I mean, like, yeah, it's a good trade and all, but, like, I'm just wondering, like, Hakar is really good, right? Um, I'm wondering if it's actually worth um, not last standing him. I mean, he's not going to kill him, but maybe last stand an Ancestral Guardian to finish the job kind of thing? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Suck versus Hakar is just something that I think you just think twice about, that's all. Unless it's for a caster kill. Yeah. I mean... For yeah. a caster kill, it's a no-brainer. Do yeah. it. Um, but... How many boxes did Helios have left? Uh, Helios? About... Eight, I think, eight or ten. Eight, yeah, eight to twelve, somewhere in there. I'm wondering if one of these guys could have finished. Him. One of them, if he last standed it, yes. Without last stand, maybe, Six. probably. 
Probably. Yes, so I mean, he'll, he'll, 11, 11 boxes. Armor 19, what, what's the power? Their base power? 13, so dice 13, off 6. Dice off six. Um, effectively, Weapon Master, because they're boosting from the feet. Yeah. Um, so they're getting four, like attacks. 4 damage on each attack-ish. So, I mean, yeah. probably they do it. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. I'm just thinking, like, what... Actually, uh, and you can... No, the feet boosts, right? It's, yeah, the feet so you, you can't charge and then use the feet. No, I like can't, like, yeah. double boost. Yeah. Uh, but it's still, you get yeah. four fully boosted, uh, like four bullet yeah. boosted attacks on Helios with one Ancestral Guardian. I feel like uh, that's going to do 11 damage. I think you're going to get that. Yeah. So let's say this was it. What would you do when you lose those two? If I lose Imperatus and Helios, yeah. but the game's still going? Yeah. Um... Oh, so you're saying one of these goes in That's here, one of these goes in here. Kind of like this goes um, here. But then no. these are gone. Those are gone at the end of my turn. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but um, and so, but all I have left is three Griffins and Viros. Yeah. Um, and Zal's over there camping, nothing because he doesn't have any beasts. Oh yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. Yeah. yeah. Um. <laughs> that is a good. Uh... Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what I do. Uh, so one thing. The feet was up. Uh, I can transfer to um, the guardians. Oh, can you? Uh, yeah. Actually, really? really? Yeah. Are you making wow. this up? And mark it you could. Let me double check. <laughs> really? I've never heard that before. Uh... Oh, they took it away from him. I've never heard that rule before. Oh, and, and mark two, you could t transfer to. It's Seriously? called like a attuned something. Was it, was it once per turn or something? No, just you could transfer to them. Really? Uh -huh. I, I swear I've never heard that before. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, so yeah, what I probably try to do, uh, I mean, the feet was up, so that kind of changes what I might have done during my turn, kind of thing. So like this guy charges and kills Imperatus. If he doesn't have any attacks left on him, then a Griffin probably slides up to here, kind of thing. Yeah. Um, and then Virus charges in, kills something that's engaging him, and then I send a Griffin in to try to end the thing, kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, build up synergy to two. Um, and then, I, if I can get it to three, because yeah, if I, I have three Griffins and, and Viros, so if I can get it to three and send one Griffin in, he probably seals the deal. If he can get there without taking a free strike or anything. Now, I forget if that Griffin was damaged or not. I think that Griffin might have been on his last legs, though. No, he was fine. Right, so, that uh, Griffin was just, fine. Just for the fun of that. I just want to see. What do you mean, if I could have done the assassination run? Well, I'm just wondering. So you have to wreck him, but then a Kovas spawns. Uh, in his place, though, right? Yes. Kovas has two in melee? Yes. And he's a pow 14. 14. I'm at 8. And the Ancestral Oh, wait, he's in Kapoor. I can't make a free strike. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, so, so, you know, so that's a good, good yeah. for me, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so that's, pro that's probably what I do. Uh, this guy, power up, hits him in the back, the boosting, so you like, try to get that so the one, synergy, the synergy to yeah. one. This guy hits someone, synergy to, to two. Viros charges in, kills the Ancestral Guardian, spawns the Kovas. Maybe kills this guy if he's got enough. This Griffin charges in. I feel like that stuff is just kind of elementary. And then the idea is, can the Griffin kill Zal, right? Is that Probably. the idea? Yeah. yeah. So Griffin charges in Zal. Mad eight. Mad eight's up to eleven on charge. Against defense fifteen. Fifteen needs a four to hit. Yeah, it hits. And he's only armor fourteen. Um, it's power sixteen. He'd be concentrated power as well, so power eighteen. So he's plus dead. four. Yeah. yeah, so he's done. Yeah. yeah. I think uh, plus four. That doesn't kill him. That's only uh, that's only ten damage. Well, he can still bot. But I have two bot attacks yeah. plus another initial. I mean, yeah, yeah. He, he he's stupid. He's dead. dead. Yeah. Like if all that goes according to plan, if this guy can move up into the spot and then not get killed by anything else, that's important as well. Like, there's a lot of stuff that it relies on. Um, Zal was there though already, I think. But I mean, he moved up that far because he were going to kill my caster. So yeah. I mean, you can't really ride with chase too accurately. No, no, I'm just kind of thinking. Yeah. You're just if, wondering how killable. If I last standed. Uh, yeah. Well, no, and he's, he's and still if, out of game. If a car is there, then it's kind of like game over anyway. Well, I think. Uh, well, I think people just in general. What I'm getting at is, when they think they lost hope because of this. And oh yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Game. No, I mean, like uh, yeah. we, we had we talked about this briefly uh, yeah. before the game. It was just about like people scooping when they've yeah. lost when they had a bad attrition turn. Yeah. Like I, I just I really want to tell people stop. Don't yeah. concede games. I never concede a game. Ever. Like, I always yeah. play them through the end. Even yeah. when it's, like, really, really bad and I'm losing horribly, I always want to just see where it goes. Yeah. Uh, because, like, there's so often where I've been playing a game where I had a really shit attrition yeah. turn and then, like, come back and won a scenario yeah. with some yeah, stupid play or, I, or some stupid assassination run. Two assassins almost took you out, but 
Like, yeah, yeah that, that was, he just got a third one in. War Machine is such a swingy game that when you see an opening, you can take it and win a game, and, and just it is it is a bad game for quitters. Yes. Um. um so Scott says it's totally worth losing that card to get Imperatus. And yeah. Mike, okay. Uh, Red, no, right. Red lost, Seven points for uh, twenty-one points. I was got assassinated by Hikar. Yeah, we were just doing some router chasing. Yeah. To see how it would have gone if I had been playing virus properly <laughs> um, and had him further back so he couldn't get killed outright. So you think virus is good in Dissolve or? Um, yeah, yeah I do. Um, I, like virus is just a really good kind of everything answer. Yeah. Um, he's really well rounded just because he can, uh, even this list which is less well rounded than than like maybe a list with some infantry in it or a list with without Imperatus and just more Griffins. Um, like because it has the volume attacks to, yeah. to take more stuff. Um, I don't th think you need that heavy centerpiece though. Well, Helios is that that yeah, centerpiece in true, this list. Um, so like Imperatus is a bit redundant in this in, in my list. Um, you could drop him and take three more Griffins, <laughs> which is um, probably an objectively better list. Um, probably not not definitely, yeah. but probably. Um, I really do like uh, Imperatus though for that yeah. assassination threat. Uh, yeah. he, he can really get in deep. He charges for free, yeah. sidesteps in, you yeah. get on a caster and just wreck their face. Matt 10 with Synergy up, um, you know, PS 22, uh, what was it again? 17, 19, 22, yeah. PS 22 with all the bells and whistles up. Um, and he can just really, really kill casters really effectively yeah. um, from, from downtown. And uh, that's the main reason why he's in the list. Um, that said, I mean, maybe Imperatus and Helios shouldn't be in the same list, but I can see either of them being a really good anchor in Virus yeah. 2 list. What does Virus, is, or what's Imperatus's bond with Virus? Free charges. Free charges. Which is a great bond, I'll take it. Yeah. It's like such a simple one, yeah. but it's money. Yeah, for sure. And would you drop Zol 1 into red again? It's not... I don't know. I think my, my mentality on lists is different. It depends on the list. Uh, what if it was like Ossian? Like this list in Ossian? Yeah. Probably like a gun heavy list. Yeah, it'd be a gun heavy list. Um, the main thing that it does is it will attempt to remove basically both your units yeah. Um, yeah. from range. And, yeah, and so, like, you can get in. Yeah, and, and, and so the, the thing is, it'll, it'll kill both your units from range, and then your beast will be too far away to retaliate, in, in theory. Well, um, that might not actually be true. Well, those guys would be like Armor 21. Yeah. Uh, advancing up. Um, you mean the blast. Yeah, okay. Then Brett would have a tough time with that. I mean, and Strike Force would still be how tens with three dice on them. But that's not great. No, Hakar no. got Byros. Uh, not the Fira. I s this would still have a game going into it. It depends on how much makes it to you. Mm -hmm. But the other thing is... If these guys are fast enough. I can go on the edge. Yeah, if you're yeah, getting. Can, yeah, that's true. I'll see. In his big weakness is that you have to be in his feet. Yeah. Uh, it, and so it makes it really hard. If you can spread out, then he. It's a lot harder for him to get knowledge on his feet. Yeah, you're probably right. I think that, that your list would do well with Ossian. Yeah, like it, it wouldn't be like one-sided. No, but uh, but you can mitigate what he does well. Yeah. I think. Yeah. If you can survive past feet turn, then you're. Oh, and you and will. I mean, like yeah. he he could maybe kill half your list, but no, yeah. no, no more than that. Um, and the the carrots, as you say, are very resilient. Um, yeah, like a good like at that point where you pop your feet, whatever's remaining, yeah. Iron Zeals runs into your stuff. Yep. And then so if it's not seen this with halberdiers, they actually don't care a whole lot with carrots. They'll still probably kill them. Um, but uh, if it's a fully like. Um, if it's like a Shadows Retribution Aussie list with just Strike Force and stuff, then it's a lot worse for him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway. Very bad. Time. Interesting. Okay, no control points. Uh, that was like the end of. That was the beginning of. No, so yeah, no, no. I mean, I guess at the end of the game, uh, Zal would have scored one in the center zone, but that's it. Mm, no, he had stuff in there. No, nothing that isn't. You know, oh, it would have been inert. Nothing isn't inert. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, because. Yeah, but, yeah, I but think it, it was top of three, wasn't it? Uh, it was, yeah. yes. Yeah. But yeah, there were no 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 points were scored before the assassination round. So. Yeah. Anyway, that's the game for tonight. Um, yeah. So thanks for watching, everybody, and tune in next week for more Thomas White live stream. And uh, yeah, see you next time.